Welcome to the first update on Forge Mode, talking about all of the features that are packed into the mod. As you can see, I've cleaned up the UI, added a load of new objects and added a few requested features. We're going to run through them bottom to top showcasing what each one can do. The section at the bottom is arguably the most important one in the whole mod. Here you'll find all of the objects that are available to spawn and a list of all of the objects which have already been spawned. If I go ahead and spawn a few, we can see the controls available for each object. Inside the tab, there are controls for positioning the object through the X, Y, and Z axes, rotating the object through pitch, roll, and yaw, resizing the object, resetting, renaming, and deleting the object. In the current state, resetting the object will do nothing, but we'll talk about how it might be useful later on in the video. Renaming the object will change the title on the tab, making it easier to keep things organized, and it's also useful when it comes to saving and loading presets. If we press delete, it will destroy the object and remove it from the field. Next up, we have some global controls. By default, all objects are spawned frozen in place, but if we turn this option off, they will have full physics enabled so that we can hit them around the field at will. This is where the reset button comes in handy, because it means that we can reset individual objects back to their defined positions and orientations. Or we can use the reset all button to put objects back where they belong. You will notice there's also a clear all button, which deletes all objects and leaves us with an empty field. The final option, which is also turned on by default, will reset all of the objects back to their original places every time we respawn the car, but we can always turn that off if we wanted to. Now the next tab is where we can start to add some variation into the forge. The initial launch velocity is a force that is applied to the ball the second it spawns. You can do this in any direction, but for now we're going to just send it straight up into the air. This can be all used alongside the ball spawn location tab. By clicking on use ball spawn location, a new menu opens with some positional sliders to set the location. And it all comes with a handy ghost ball for some visual help. Resetting the spawn point will set our custom one to Rocket League's default settings. And hiding it will stop it from obstructing our view, although all of its functionality will remain. In the initial velocity tab, we have the option to freeze the ball at the spawn location. If we set the spawn location high in the air, the ball will always fall to the ground. This option will stop that from happening and keep the ball in place until we hit it. We have the same controls available for the car spawn location too, which works in exactly the same way. You will notice the addition of a rotation slider, which can be used to make sure that you spawn face in your chosen direction. The last feature is my favourite one. Here you will find the ability to save and load your creations. You can save a preset for later use by clicking on the save preset button. A new text input field will appear, where you can name your preset. By clicking on save, the mod will create a text file in your Rocket League directory which can then be loaded at a later date. In the final release, I'm hoping to have a way to share your forge with the world on some form of workshop. The select preset dropdown will have a list of all of the files you have in your directory, including the one we've just created. You can select one and click load to quickly switch between different forges. I really look forward to seeing all of the creative ways you'll use this mod and all of the challenges you'll share with each other. As you can see, switching between presets is quick, so you'll be able to practice any skill you want at any moment. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the progress and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to hear about all of the updates on the mod.